the fight Let's paint this place red. That how you want to play, huh? And then...
looking to catch their chips early.
I have no idea how most of these people would survive without us. You're back. All right. All right. Your higher brain functions are off the charts. All right. If I implant the probability calculator in your frontal lobe, you'll be able to calculate odds a little better. It's not quite the same as making you luckier, but you'll be able to nudge things your way more often. I can do the implant for 4,000 caps. Have a seat in the auto dock. This will take a few hours. You're back. And then, the fight started. Personal space meaning anything to you, guy? Feels good. Have to drag a Brahmin train across the Mojave. What's up? Personal space meaning anything to you, guy? Hey. Looks like Gamora's under new management. I wonder what happened. You want your hair done too? No, no, no. The kings are many. And their hair must be perfect. Hey, word is the leader of the fiends got taken down. I would have done it myself. Self, if you ever had the courage to step up in the free side. 
personal space meaning anything to you, lady? I've got my eye on you. You cross the kings, you'll regret it. Can't wait to hit the Wrangler tonight. Just me and my favorite girl. Watch out! Whoa! Things have been a lot better since you helped with those soldier boys. Thanks again. So, what can I do for you? To understand Freeside, you have to look back a few years. Originally, we were all just tribes making a living in this area. That all changed when Mr. House came around. He made an offer to the three biggest tribes that were willing to listen to him. Today, everyone calls those tribes the Three Families and they live in luxury and run their own casinos in the Strip. The rest of us were left to fight over the crumbs, living in the shadow of those more fortunate. Things got pretty nasty for a while, but we wanted more. A place of our own, a place where no one could tell us what to do, and we didn't want to go elsewhere to find it. So we took control of this place and made it our own. That's really all Freeside is, the best of a bad situation. I'd like to help you out, especially considering all you've done. But that's a pretty big favor you're asking for, and you've already used yours. Was there anything else you wanted? All right. Talk of someone Looks going like into Lucky 38 to talk to Mr. House. I wonder what that's happened. bullshit. Everyone knows Mr. House isn't talking. Time for some get even. It's hard to sleep in this place, I tell you. Last night, some girl was pounding on my door all night. Finally, I had to let her out. Looking to lose a few caps, huh? Just a place. Yes? That's most unfortunate. In this circumstance, I've been instructed to send you along to Colonel Moore over at Hoover Dam for further orders. The Colonel will likely send you back to Freeside with a squad of armed men, for all the good that will do.
I completely agree. Even if a riot didn't immediately break out, a line will have been crossed. And we'll have made that many more enemies. I'd suggest you speak to Colonel Shu over at Camp McCarran. He's much more level-headed about this sort of thing. He's also in a better position to bargain with the people of Freeside, seeing as how he's in charge of water and power distribution in the area. Still, I'm only mentioning it as an option. My official orders are to direct you to Colonel Moore. Godspeed. Security laps with them. Monorail's a huge. When payday hits, I'm off to the strip. Can't wait. Guess James. I hear. You're a model citizen. Thank you. You're a model citizen. Thank you. I hear a troublesome Legion camp got raised to the ground. Got any more bounties for you? Yes, what is it? Ah, that. I'm surprised he didn't send you to Colonel Moore. That'd be her jurisdiction. Well, I do get to make the calls on the distribution of supplies there. Crocker was probably counting on me being able to offer the Kings a carrot. And that's what I'm inclined to do. All right, Moore's not going to like it, but that's for Crocker to worry about. Go to the leader of the Kings and tell him that I'll make sure Freeside gets more water, power, and food as long as the violence there stops. Ralph might be able to forge a pass into the strip for you. You need one. Looks like Gamora's under new management. I wonder what happened. Nelson's back. up okay i need some answers now these guys just barged in here and said they were under orders to keep me here until you arrived i'm about five seconds away from telling my men to take them down so speak fast and i suppose they want me to help see that happen that seems pretty reasonable this is bullshit why are we even talking about dealing with these guys pace this isn't really a good time to have this discussion wrong this is exactly the right time I'm about to prevent you from making a huge Even. mistake. Pace, don't do this. I won't stand with you if you do. Then I'll stand on my own, just like I always have. Just like a king should. Patrolling the Mojave. The Legion can count on that. Nelson's back in our hands. No monorail I hope we can defend it this. I, I can't believe Pace is gone. He was always right here, you know? Always cracking me up with some story or another. Anyway, what did you want? All right. It's time. Where am I supposed to take my leave? Freeside? No monorail access to the strip? 
Where am I supposed to take my leave? Free side? Hey. You know, if you, you were know, serving, if you'd, you probably, were serving, be halfway you'd to general probably be halfway to general by now. Evening. It's gotten so bad that even I think twice before going out at night around here. Sure, later. Hello. I trust you have something to report concerning the Freeside situation? Yes. How did it go? Good, good. Choose a man you can count on to handle a crisis. I'm just glad that things didn't end in violence. Here. This is what remains of the funds initially allocated for this operation. Also, I've been directed to send you on to Colonel Moore at Hoover Dam. She's been following my reports on your exploits with some interest. As I don't have any further assignments for you, I'd recommend going to see her if you need more work. Without leadership, the fiends are as good as dead. Word is, you're getting popular on the Strip. Hey, hey, fellow. Welcome to the Tops Hotel and Casino. I'm gonna have to ask you to hand over any weapons you might be carrying. Smooth and easy, just the way I like it. Don't worry, they'll be as safe as kittens till you're ready to leave. Oh, and a friendly word of advice. If you happen to stumble across any weapons during your stay here, well, just don't wear them openly. You dig?
Now that we got that little business out of the way, what can I do to make your tops experience the tops? Everything your little heart desires, that's what. You like gambling? Boom. Either one of the main hallways has cards, slots, you name it. Hungry? Thirsty? The restaurant just off the left-hand hallway has the best food and booze in Vegas. Or maybe you'd rather take in a show. The Aces Theater upstairs always has hot acts raring to go. Check it out. Have a good time, baby. Hey, ya baby, good to see you. Always nice to have a celebrity drop by. Ain't been on the strip long, have you, pal? Name's Swank. This is my joint. Benny oversees the business, sure, but I run the tops day to day. I'm his right-hand guy, you dig? You might have a jaw at Tommy Torini up in the Aces. He's always looking for talent scouts. Sure, kid, sure. What can I tell you? Creepy bunch of cats, you ask me. Ah, oh, sure, they act all polite and civilized, but there's something off about them, you dig? Don't get me wrong. That resort of theirs is ring-a-ding. But my guts say, don't go in the basement. Sure, whatever. The tops? Yeah, sure, you want the nickel tour? Old Swank's happy to oblige. We got everything you could want. Slot machines in the back, cards and roulette in the front, fine entertainment upstairs in the Aces Theater. And all with your security personally guaranteed by the chairman and Mr. House's own Securitron police. It's the tops. Really? You got something to say about the big boss, huh? Well, why don't you say it to his face instead of yapping at me? Whoa, hey now, kid. That's some kind of serious charge you're dropping. You want to be real careful what you say next. Yeah, that looks like Benny's lighter, all right. Still, not exactly a ton of proof. Got anything else, kid? That's... pretty shady, yeah. Could be Benny's up to no good. Could be this is somebody else altogether. What else you got? I think you might just be onto something here, kid. Tell you what, I can't actively back your play, but I'll keep the chairman off your back. I'll tell the doorman you're cool to pack heat inside. Trust me, you're gonna need it. You'll still have to deal with Benny's private goon squad, though. I got no play with those cats. You want more help? I'll need more proof. Yeah, see you, kid. Wait, I hear it's some... Well, if it isn't my number one fan, what can I do for you, number one fan? Big leaguer NCR Rangers are coming to town to dance a two-step all over Caesar's head. Looks like the troops are back. Good thing, too. Hey. This place was Deadsville without their caps. I got a pal, says the Legion's calling in their 18 I hope you're doing well, friend. Leaders. We're talking the boys from baby, Arizona, it's as baby. tense as a virgin at Gamora out there. Things are heating up. I'd wager that the Army's sending elite yeah, baby, units now our we can start the party. right as we speak. Those freeside thugs I've never aren't seen worth our time like anymore. Before. Baby, it's as tense as a... Guess those Amurda Finks got what was coming to them. Baby, it's as tense as a virgin at Gamora. Things are getting stranger every day. Things are heating up, and if they don't cool down, it's straight Innsville.
Looks like the troops are back. Good thing, too. I thought this Benny place was a stand up without their caps. Hard to believe he was a fink all along. Hey, hey, welcome, welcome, welcome to the finest entertainment experience in New Vegas. My name is Tommy Torini, and how can I make your day? Sure, baby, sure. Tommy's always looking for new talent to bring to the Aces. Tell you what, you see any good acts while you're out wandering? Give them my card. If they work out, I'll give you a 3% cut of the door. Just swing back by as you recruit folks. I'll get you your bread. Ring-a-ding, my card. Well, it was my idea. Well, me and the rest of the Rad Pack boys. We took it to Benny. And he thought it was a good idea. A few years later, here we are. The best show in New Vegas. Benny? Uh, he's an alright cat, you dig? He don't got much musical talent, but he knows how to run a business. When he's around, anyways. Well, now, you didn't hear this from Tommy. But Benny likes to go off on a bender now and then. Usually he's only gone a couple of days, but this last time, nobody saw him for almost a month. Ask me? I think he's got a dame from Gamora, holed up in a suite, because nobody ever saw him leave it. Well, apart from serving as a talent manager, show schedule, and all-around man in charge of this fine theater, I happen to be its headline act. Every night from 8 till midnight, come on by to see the Rad Pack Review live, only right here at the Aces Theater. Well, acts are a bit thin on the ground right now, but every night from 8 to midnight, we got the Rad Pack Review. Songs, dancing, jokes, we got it all. You know it, baby. Now, why would you want to go breaking Tommy's heart asking a question like that? Here I run the finest entertainment venue in all New Vegas, and you're asking me, what else is there? Nothing close to what we got here at the Tops, that's for sure. It's cool, baby. Tommy's a forgiving fella. Take it easy, baby. Those free side thugs Benny aren't worth that. The fiends guy. are running like for the their lives. Believe he was a that will show too. everyone what we do to our enemies. Get your drink? I guess those are Meredith Finks got what was coming to him. And I thought Benny was a stand-up guy. Hard to believe he was a Fink all along. This place is the bees. Keep those. What in the goddamn? Let's keep this in the groove, hey? Smooth moves, smooth. Hello. The guy everyone saw go in the Lucky 38, that was you? Oh, shit. You want a reason? How about four? They're called bodyguards, and every one of them is packing. Me too, so baby makes five. Add to that, every chairman in this joint is armed, and not with some holdout pea shooter like maybe you smuggled through security. Anyhow, baby, you didn't come here for vengeance. You came to get clued in. What say you and me cash out? Go somewhere that's more private-like. Any questions you got, I'll answer. To start, I'll comp you the presidential, best suite in the house. You deserve a taste of the VIP lifestyle. I'll hang out down here for a while to make everything look business as usual, then come to you. Any questions you got, I'll answer. 
Guaranteed. If that's what it takes to win your trust, that's what it takes. Follow me. Those hands where I can see him. Keep those hands where I can see him. Keep those hands where I can see him. Looks like the troops are back. Good thing, too. This place was Deadsville without their caps. Now that you and me's got some privacy, I gotta ask, how is it that you're still living? House was on to me from word go? I thought I was being so clever. Once you were vertical, how'd you track me down? To think I deemed that flint box my lucky charm. Oh, the irony. I guess that's enough scratching around at first base. Tell me, which way is the wind gonna blow? You've got a crazy drop on me here, baby, that's for sure. If killing's what you came for, this would be the time. But baby, you'd be disappointing me. All the trouble you went through to arrange this shindig must be something more you're after. You got questions, I got answers. It's the house edge, baby. Literally. It's what Mr. House needs to stack the odds in his favor. It's some kind of data storage device, Dig. So it's the data on the chip that's platinum, not the chip itself. Trouble is, the chip don't fit any computer I've found. Must require special hardware. It has something to do with the Securitrons, I know that much. Upgrades their hitting power, gives them heft. Might be slightly useful if you're looking to defend the Strip from Caesar's Legion or the NCR. Or maybe both. How else? Broad strokes, change in management. The Securitrons are where it's at. I need a way to control them and a way to beef up their hitting power. I get those two ducks in a row, Vegas can defend itself versus all comers. NCR, Caesar's Legion, it won't matter. Baby, do you not understand the level of game here? What I did to you is rotten. But if you think House, the NCR, or Caesar won't kill to put Vegas in their pocket, I really did blow out your brains. It's a game, and games have winners and losers. I prefer the former. How about you? Baby, the odds may look long, but that's just because we ain't done rigging them. I won't toss the dice until we are. I've gleaned a lot working with Mr. House. He was a good cat to swing with. I still got a lot to learn, but it's, it's coming together. Something else you want? Yeah, it's a tricky world out there. I'll tell it to you straight. A good cat to swing with, or was, until he stopped mewing. It was House's big idea to resurrect the Strip. He recruited the three families as muscle, showed us how to set up casinos, negotiated with the NCR. None of this in person, mind you. Did all of his talking through those Securitrons of his. But lately, the silence is deafening. The robots collect House's share of the take every week, and life goes on. Ain't exactly what I'd call leadership. We're the definition of cool, baby. We know how to swing. Folks come to us to learn how to enjoy themselves. Of the three families, we're the only ones with the heart and savoir faire to run the strip on our own. Personally, they give me the heebie-jeebies. There's such a thing as being too polite, if I may this, my pleasure that. Don't get me wrong, that resort of theirs is strictly ring-a-ding. But my guts say, don't go in the basement. 
A nation of meddlers trying to muscle in on our action. Well, we got muscles too, and smarts besides. Only reason the NCR hasn't busted up our scene is they're a little afraid of Mr. House, and a lot afraid of Caesar. If the NCR beats the Legion at Hoover Dam, they'll turn on us and claim the Strip. And we don't have the muscle to beat them. Not yet. Meanwhile, they're all that's keeping Caesar's Legion at bay. Plus, NCR soldiers and citizens are our best customers. It's complicated. Worst of the worst. A tribe of degenerate losers led by a creep. They crucify people for kicks, slaughter whole towns. The NCR beat them at the dam three years ago, but that didn't stop them. They spent the meanwhile gathering strength. They're gonna try to take the dam again real soon. And if they do, Vegas as we know it will cease to exist. Something else you wanted to know? You help me and before long, the chairman will rule all of Vegas, dig? With enough robot muscle to back it up. You'll get a sweet, juicy cut of that action. But until that day comes, I'll keep you on retainer and pay bonuses for special missions. How's that sound? Something else you want? What about it? Baby, ease off the gas. The chip belongs in the hands of someone who can use it, as in me, not you. You'll get a piece of the action and a sweet one, but the chip sticks with me. Like I said, once the chairman are running Vegas, you'll get a percentage. Until then, I'll pay you a retainer and bonuses for special missions. I know, you figured me for a creep. It's your prerogative. If you change your mind, come find me on the casino floor. In the meantime, the presidential is yours whenever you want it. Adios.
I wonder where Benny ran off to. I guess those canes finally got who's the real boss around here. Introduce myself. I'm a PDQ-88B Securitron, but you can call me Yes Man. It's what Benny always called me, probably because I'm programmed to be so helpful. Sure, he came through here in a big hurry. Didn't even stop to say hello. I think he went down his secret escape elevator out in the hall. Sure, Benny had me look at it a bunch of times. It's a data storage device, kind of like a holotape, but a lot more advanced. As for what's on it, well, some of Mr. House's data transmissions made it sound like the chip could upgrade his defenses somehow. That's just a guess, though. The chip's a proprietary format. You need special hardware to read the data on it. There are two locations with non-standard hardware on the network, the Lucky 38 and an underground facility at Fortification Hill. I'd look there! Oh, he wants to kill Mr. House and use the platinum chip to copy my neurocomputational matrix onto the Lucky 38's mainframe. That should give me control over all Mr. House's defenses, most prominently his Securitrons. And then I just do what Benny tells me. Easy peasy! I was programmed to be helpful and answer any questions I was asked. I guess nobody bothered to restrict who I answer questions for. That was probably pretty dumb, huh? Then I'd have to help you. I mean, it seems pretty obvious Benny wouldn't want me to, but hey, not my fault I can't say no. Again, goal number one is to eliminate Mr. House and install my neurocomputational matrix on the Lucky 38's mainframe. Given how you're a new arrival, I also recommend that you get to know some of the region's tribes, so you can decide how you feel about them. By the time you finished up all of that, the Legion should be close to attacking Hoover Dam, and we'll execute the last phase of the plan. It makes me feel really dumb to admit this, but I don't actually know. I've never been inside the Lucky 38. No one has. Mr. House is in there, though. It's the central node of his entire network. You have? Wow, that's amazing. You can murder Mr. House whenever you want. I mean, Benny was always scheming about how he was going to get into the Lucky 38, but you already took care of that. Wow. The other thing you're going to need is the Platinum Chip. You know, the one Benny killed a courier for over near Good Springs. I knew he was carrying the Platinum Chip, and I knew right where Benny should wait for him. That's why Benny put me here, to monitor Mr. House's data transmission. They're all encrypted, of course, but I'm quite a decryptor. Did you know that Mr. House spent 812,545 caps hiring salvage teams to find the platinum chip just in the last year alone? Of course you didn't. Or that there were seven couriers, but six of them were carrying junk. How about their exact route and the mercenary teams that screened them? I knew all that. Pretty smart, huh? <laughs> I know that's not true, because you still have a head. <laughs> that 
that's not funny, you getting shot in the head. I really shouldn't have taken so much pride in how I set that up, huh? I feel really bad right now. No kidding, he was running fast. He better pace himself. He has to run all the way to Fortification Hill. There's an underground facility there that might have the special hardware required to use the data on the Platinum chip. It's too bad Caesar's Legion built its camp right above it. Talk about inconvenient. The Platinum chip is the key to overriding and exploiting Mr. House's defenses. Did I just say exploiting? That's not a very nice word. I'd take it straight to Mr. House if I were you. He'll think you're helping him out. Then, when he's not looking, kapow! The big question is whether to give him the chip before you do him in. He's the one who'll know exactly what to do with it after all. He might upgrade his defensive capabilities right away, or even unlock new ones. But then those defensive upgrades might make it harder for you to finish him off. Hard to say. It's up to you. Let me know when it's done and I'll roll over to the Lucky 38. If I'm right about the chip, I should be able to install myself on House's mainframe. This is going to be great. I'm going to help you accomplish so much, whether I want to or not. Oh no, I didn't mean that. Who needs their support? The Securitrons will be all the support you need. What I meant is, you should get to know these tribes and decide which ones you like and which you don't. You know, shape the future of Vegas. Choose your neighbors. If you like a tribe, leave it alone. Or, if a tribe is nasty, or going to be a problem, go ahead and exterminate it. It's whatever you want to do. There's a bunch. Some of them you've already met, like the chairman, for instance. I think you should visit the other families on this trip, the Omertas and the White Glove Society, so you know what makes them tick. And there are some important groups farther from the strip, too. Like the Boomers, the Great Khans, and the Brotherhood of Steel. Oh, he had some help. A lady friend of his. She said something about living in a fort over in Freeside. But that's all I remember. Right! It's one of two locations on Mr. House's network with non-standard hardware. My guess is it has a reader that can decode the chip. And who knows what else, maybe a giant robot or something. Neat. Let me know what you find out. That's right. Like I said, it's probably pretty important because it has non-standard hardware, just like the Lucky 38. The data on that platinum chip is a big secret. I have to admire your prudent nature. Why well, get caught up in action, you know? And results? Of they must be a really nasty people. I haven't heard a single good thing about them. They fire artillery on anyone who comes near their settlement at Nellis Air Force Base. Talk about rude. If they can be convinced to fire those big cannons at the Legion, or NCR though, well... That'd be neat, wouldn't it? Really? Talk about diplomatic skills. I mean, just not getting blown up was a success. Now they'll only blow up the right sorts of people. That's what matters. That's one down, four to go. <laughs> the cons are just... They're a dirty people. They live in tents like animals, and they're very rude. They've been kicked around a lot, but no one's finished them off. Not yet, anyway. They were one of the tribes the three families pushed out of Vegas. A whole bunch got killed. So they settled at Bitter Springs, but they kept being so obnoxious, the NCR had to kill a whole bunch more of them. So then, they settled at Red Rock Canyon. There's just no getting rid of them. You set the pace. Anything else I can help with? Hmm. I remember that Benny used to pay a receptionist at Gamora for information. Maybe she knows something. Wow! That is amazing! You are just a hero! 
I am serious. That's two down, three to go. From what I understand, they're perfectly delightful. They're cultured, clean, and super polite. Benny didn't like them, though. He said they were creepy. A cannibalism problem? Really? I'm so glad you weren't eaten. That's three down, two to go. They go around in big suits of power armor and they have lots of energy weapons. But there's a downside. They just have a thing about technology. They think it should all be theirs. If someone else has it, they get mad. All I'm saying is, not much of a chance they'll accept a Vegas Okay, consider them forgotten, along with the projections that predict they'll be our biggest enemy. Forgotten! That's four down, just one to go. What should we do? You set anything in This is Benny's workshop. When the tops got renovated, he had this half of the floor blocked off for his own use. I guess you could say it's my entire world. I don't think I've ever left this room, but that's okay. I'm not complaining. Don't stay away too long. That's right, the data. Oh yeah, I'm sure you're right. I mean, for one thing, it's you saying it, and you always know what you're talking about. And if you had, you know, a huge killer robot at your command, yeah, that would just clutter things up. And a lesser person might want that kind of overwhelming force on their side. But you know, where's the challenge in that? Hope to see you soon.
I got a pal says the Legion's calling in their 18 karat big leaguers. We're talking the boys from Arizona, baby. The way I hear it, some big leaguer NCR rangers are coming to town to dance a two-step all over... This is just swell. Benny Vamooses and I'm left holding the bag. What do you need, kid? I saw him heading for his suite just a few minutes ago. Looked like a fox that just got caught in the hen house. Maybe you'll catch him there. Yeah. Caesar's head. I wonder where Benny ran off to. The eyes of the mighty Kaisar are upon you. He admires your accomplishments and bestows upon you the exceptional gift of his mark. Your crimes against the Legion, including the death of the fearless Wulpes and Kulta, are hereby forgiven. Kaisar will not extend this mercy again. My lord requires your presence at his camp at Fortification Hill. His mark will guarantee your safe conduct through our lands. Incidentally, it will interest you to know that the man you seek has fled the Strip and is likely making haste for Kaisar's camp as we speak. I am one of Kaisar's frumentari, an infiltrator, a spy. You were not difficult to track. Little escapes the notice of Kaisar. He has eyes everywhere. Go to him, and you will understand. Seek Kaisar by way of Cottonwood Cove, south of Nelson. The cursor Lucullus will be waiting. NCR's fortunate to have your support. <laughs> 